Well, first came that outcry over a Tory MP saying she, people should learn a spot of home economics and be taught how to feed themselves cheaply. And now the PC babies are wailing at a government minister suggesting people work longer hours to make more cash during the cost of living crisis. Oh, it's a sad reflection of a coddled country who expects government to run to their aid every time a crisis hits. It's not fair, they cry at the suggestion they could show a bit of common sense at how to manage money as a war in Europe drives up prices around the world. But it doesn't work like that. Government handouts are your money. And if you really wanted to rob the rich to feed the poor, not lining the pockets of the food industry and getting more money off the man rather than tanking our shared economy surely has to be part of the plan. Now, somebody who got this was Margaret Thatcher, who pointed out there is no such thing as public money. There is only taxpayers' money and that it's our duty to look after ourselves. Well, one thing she wouldn't get is the hullabaloo over some eggs being thrown at her statue by a moron. This is the woman who survived an R IRA bomb attack and ruled with conviction. M. Thatch would have no truck for government by focus group, nor the group of ninnies having a hissy fit over some giant toddler using playground tactics to protest her memory. If she did, she'd hardly have been the Iron Lady. But one statue-related incident that is harrowing is clear in images coming from Manchester, showing balaclava-clad militants blocking the statue of Emmeline Pankhurst, the suffragette who gave the vote and a voice to millions of women. The burly men, dressed like terrorists, were there to intimidate women, questioning the demands of men, who simply say they're women, to get into girls-only safe spaces. If something is so stridently emblematic of how women-hating, misogynistic, extreme and downright dangerous this movement has become, risking the security and the rights of half the population, it's that. And on the subject of risk... Apparently, exam invigilators are refusing to oversee GCSE and A-levels because boo-hoo, COVID. If you want to refuse to do your day job because it involves it's going somewhere so dangerous as there are other people there, fine. But no pub for you.